You go, bro? I bet. As you guys are well aware of by now, I'm not the biggest fan of this new era of podcast. We used to run trains on white girls without permission. <laughs> because quite frankly, they just talk about the same three topics over and over again. Not only should women clean up, women should clean up unprompted. And I'm gonna tell you why. Number one, how to be an alpha male. If you'd let me finish in my- If you let us finish Yo, hold on, hold on, <laughs> hold on. Let me make this very clear, ladies. You're on our podcast. I was we, literally we gonna take, answer that question we, though. We That's take, the reason okay, why I said look, that. Okay, look, look, look. I was getting to it. Okay. I don't like this. Like, this is our podcast. We dictate the terms. If I ask you a clarification question, answer the question. I don't want no fucking back talk. I'm not your boyfriend. I'm not some simp, whatever it may be. You're on our shit. Don't forget there. that. You dumb bitch, you asked your question, so shut up and answer it. Bitch, are you fucking deaf? Answer the question. He just told me to shut up. I don't give a damn what I said. Retort to his quarry this instant. Precisely. Okay. Well, what I was trying to say before you guys cut me off is that- Bitch, are you fucking insane? Who the fuck do you think you're talking back to? You fucking whore! The nerve of these women. Does she know who she's talking to? This is the Rank and Dank Podcast! Yeah! She should be grateful to be here! You tell her, big bro! And she's gone, isn't she? Yeah! She left several minutes ago and she was not very pleased. Number two, gender roles, but in the most objectifying way possible. Fuck Shut the up. fuck up, have kids, Damn sit bitch. at home, be quiet, make coffee. Men don't have nowadays nothing to offer besides money and- And number three, why women are worthless and their opinions are irrelevant. And on that note, ladies, we're all gonna go around and rate me one through 10. Don't forget, this is all for fun and games. No hard feelings will be had. I'm not a little bitch, okay? I can handle a little rejection. So you, go. Uh, you're not really my type, so I'm gonna give you like a three. Get out! Get the fuck out! <laughs> you just gave him a nine. You gave me a two. You only gave me a two because of the whole interaction that we've been having, right? So do me a favor, get the fuck up and get the fuck out. I'm gonna cry. You see, the old me only had a problem with black owned podcasts, but I think it's time for me to stop being so childish, grow up, and move past that old closed minded phase of mine. Because now, I'm all inclusive. I'm hating on all podcasts, no matter what the fuck you're racist. As long as I see a group of men in a studio with women involved, I know whatever the fuck they're about to talk about is about to be some bullshit. Well, listen, I'm not trying to hurt anybody. Okay. I just f you and f you. I'm sorry. Lay you and lay you <laughs> until you know. <laughs> and the thing that really pushed me over the edge into making this video is this goddamn super duper humble podcast, which is some of the most foul and degenerate shit I think I've ever seen throughout my time on the internet. I'm actually surprised that half of these videos are able to be posted on YouTube because some of the topics are actually insane. My personal favorites being man gives himself head. I was uh, working in a porn house in Brooklyn. And so they was like, what's the craziest thing you ever done? I was like, suck my own dick and fuck myself in the ass. And they was like, oh, what? Oh, I didn't know that. Oh, the same, the same shit y'all just did. <laughs> Throw goats and happy endings. <laughs> but she rubbed me down and then, you know, she flipped me over. And I'm like, what the, what the hell are you going to massage on the front? <laughs> and then she started grabbing my beef and I'm just like, well, it's working. Let's do this. <laughs> Would you let your friend fuck your sister? Would y'all let your homeboy date your sister? Impossible. If you had a sister. Impossible? Your sister deserves good dick. Oh, oh, yeah. oh the best part of eating ass. What's the best part? Tasting shit? Like... Ooh, you had Mexican for dinner last night, didn't you? Hold on, hold on. Oh, I think I did some cilantro. Hold on. Sriracha too? Green peppers? And banana! Like, what the fuck are we talking about? Length versus girth. And their big dicks played out. Could you imagine a group of five grown ass men, damn near prehistoric? They're pushing 50, sitting in that studio with mics, cameras on, debating about fucking cock. And my personal favorite, paying $1,000 for pegging. You see, this one isn't my favorite because of the crazy title, but the title is insane. Don't get me wrong. There's a man out there who's paying $1,000 to get fucked in the ass by a woman. The real reason why this is my favorite is because this episode turned into a show and tell. They brought the man who asked to get fucked in the ass by a woman onto the episode and he was in there in a fucking mask. He was on a leash, naked, on the floor like a dog for an hour. 
I'm telling you, I have no idea how YouTube lets any of this up. And the craziest part is, none of these titles and episodes that I just showed you guys is what triggered me into making this video. The video that got me was a video of a girl who claimed that she fucked her boyfriend and the boyfriend's mom at the same time. I had a threesome with a guy and his mom, and that was like his birth mother. Now you're all probably wondering the same question that I was when I received this troubling information. How did we get here? Although a lot of people have a variety of deep dark secrets, it takes a lot to truly draw that out of an individual. So you're all probably wondering what was said in this specific moment of time to get them to confess this secret. And I'll tell you right now, it didn't take very much. I got a question for you. Hey man. What's the, what's the freakiest thing you've done in your life? I'm gonna ignore the fact that you're damn near 96 asking this question because what said next will truly shock you. All right, so for now it's one story, but it probably more. I had a threesome with a guy and his mom, and that was like his birth mother. Again, you're probably all in the exact same spot that I was when I received this information. Although one question was answered, 10,000 more have just been posed. How the fuck did this fucking come to occur? How did you let this happen? How did you go through with it? Why would you go through with it? What the fuck is wrong with you? What the fuck is wrong with the guy? What the fuck is wrong with his mom? There are so many questions that need to be answered right now, but please be patient because they all will be answered. I don't know if you guys are gonna be happy with the answers, but <laughs> there will be answers. There is one thing that all of us can agree on, even the guys on the podcast panel can agree on. What the fuck is wrong with this bitch? Because they all gave her the same look that I think we would all give. They all lean forward onto their chair and look at her like this. What the fuck are you talking about? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. So, it is was, it- It was amazing. You see, that is one of the answers that quite literally did not need to be given. Why did you feel the need to tell us that you enjoyed partaking in incest? You're making yourself look even worse here. When you say threesome, everybody interacted with she each other. She was sucking dick. Oh my whoa, God. Whoa, 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 whoa. We just wanna know how the fuck this shit happened. You're going into way too much detail here, lady. We do not need to know that that guy's mother was sucking her own s I can't even say that sh After a bunch of pretty crazy reactions which were all warranted. I wanna go <laughs> The host of the podcast was able to re-reel this conversation and push it forward by asking her How the fuck did you get there? Let's get, give us that story first. Well, I was talking to him. He's half uh, black and half Italian. The main question that I'm wondering right now as a black man, the most important question in my fucking life popped into my head. Is the mother involved in this grotesque scenario black or Italian? That's what I really need to know. I cannot go any further until I get this information. Mom had him when she was very young. Like very young in her teenage, like she was a teenager. See, for a few minutes the conversation was proceeding and rightfully so. But while that was happening, I was sitting in this very chair, extremely stressed. Because only one question is running through my mind. And I don't care about anything else that's being said. I just need my question to be answered. What was the mother? And luckily, my Lord and Savior appeared. That fat fucking the sunglasses. Finally started asking some real questions. But Not even to cut you off, was his mom fire. the black or the Italian? All right, everyone, it's time to lock in. The moment of truth is here. We're about to find out whether the mom is black or Italian. The rest is in God's hands. All I can do now is press play. She oh. was Italian. Yeah! That's what I'm fucking talking about, man! That's what I'm fucking talking about! This doesn't erase the fact that everything that happened was extremely disgusting, foul, and grotesque. You know what I'm saying? The mother is so disgusting as fuck, but she's not black, bitch! Yeah! Turn the fucking music! Mommy, Turn what's that weird man doing? I don't know. I think it's about to flash us. We should, we should go. All right, this girl 
fucking sucks at storytelling, so I'm gonna summarize the whole intro of the story for you guys. She went over to the boyfriend's house for the first time, and over there, she met his mother for the first time. You met the mom before, obviously. Never. Never. So this is the first? This is the first time I meet her. She saw his mom, the mom looked good, the mom saw her, she thought that she looked good. You know, she was complimenting me. She was like, oh, you know, like, you're really, like, he, you know, he told me about you, like, you really are pretty or whatever. They went to the living room, and this is what happened next. Fast forward, at this point, we're still sipping, and then she goes, oh, you know, like, stand up for me. So I stood up, and I'm like, okay. And then she's like, oh, turn around. So I'm turning around, she stands up too, and then she smacks me on my ass, and I'm like, <laughs> okay. You see, now that I know that the mom is Italian, you just had a white woman. Told you to stand up, 360, and smack you. If it was me in this scenario, and I went over to a girl's house, and her white father told me to stand up and do a 360 like a slave at an auction, and he grabbed my arm and said, oh yeah, you don't make him like you anymore, boy. How much? Yeah. I'll come to meet me outside, bro. We're fucking fired. Come to the street, honey. So after this girl just allowed herself to get bitched around by someone's white mother, the boyfriend comes back out into the living room, the mom keeps complimenting the girl in front of the boyfriend, which is making her shimmy awkward. And I'm like feeling mad awkward. But then the boyfriend decides to add to that by doing this. He stands up. So he stands up. After giving me all of these compliments, she's just looking at him and I'm like feeling mad awkward and I'm just like, what's going on? So he pulls his dick out. Yeah, out of nowhere, out of fucking thin air, he just decides to pull his fucking cock out. At this point, this should be triggering all kind of red flags in this girl's head and her primary objective should be to get the fuck out of that household because she's either about to get fucking or she's about to get fucking dissected alive. To death! Regardless, I don't like the way this story is progressing, so uh, I'ma head the fuck out. But that's not what she decides to do because uh, she's a sick fuck. She decides to stay, and this is what comes out of the boyfriend's mouth next. He said, and I quote, do what you do best and come suck this dick. Say that to, to his mom. To his mother. To his mother. This man told his own mother I don't need to repeat the words. You guys heard what the fuck she just said. I'm not saying that shit. But the fact that, like, how do you look at your mom? First of all, that's extremely disgusting. Push that to the side for a second. You look at the mother who gave birth to you, who raised you, who fed you, who taught you, who put a roof over your head, who put clothes on your back, who brought you to school for all these years? She taught you how to be a fucking gentleman, all this shit. She taught you how to pay taxes, how to get a car, how to get a house. But in your eyes, the thing that she does best is suck your dick. Come on, bro. Come on, bro. This is a nasty nigga. You see, at this point of the story, I'm sure we're all thinking this has got to be satire. This girl is lying out of her fucking head. And at any moment now, she'll be like, ha ah, ha, I got you guys. It was all a joke, it was a little pranky prank. But no, the mother proceeds to do this. She got on her knees and she did what she was told to do. And do you know what the lady who was witnessing all of this said? I ain't gonna lie, I got turned on. At this point, we can't blame anybody but her. She's over there talking about how this story is disgusting, she was feeling awkward, this was disgusting. And the whole time, she's fucking enjoying it. She is also one of the sick fucks. Not only was she turned on by that extremely disgusting scenario, you guys are actually not going to believe us what this girl did next. After she stopped sucking his dick, she, he looked at me and he was like, come suck this dick. And so I went and I sucked his dick. I mean. This dumb, stupid, dirty bitch. Apologies. But you know, I don't like using that word, especially referring to women. But this is a very special scenario. This is a dumb bitch right here, bro. This is a very stupid bitch. Mama. She's the definition of the weakest link. She was trying to be all extra, talking about how this was disgusting, foul, I was feeling awkward, I didn't know what to do. But when push came to shove, she got on her fucking knees and sucked a dick that someone else's mom just... She's pathetic, really, pathetic. You see, I'm not one who advocates for public executions. But in this extremely specific scenario, she was goblin and she eats some good pussy too. I think that everyone involved should be hanged publicly. And if not hanged, get the fucking guillotine. Regardless, 
They all need to fucking die. I'm not gonna lie to you guys. I really feel like she's omitting a lot of the information from this story to not make herself look too disgusting, even though she already does look disgusting. But she cuts the story out right after she said that the mom ate her cooter cat. But that was it after that. But I feel like she definitely had to go all the way. You're not about to do the beginning phase and then walk out the house. No, no, no. She definitely had a, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Well, I'm like, she definitely banged everyone in that fucking household, but she omitted that, fair enough, whatever, it's her business. After that, she said that's all. She cut him off and she blocked him. We ain't never, I never talked to him after that. He called me, but I blocked him. At that point, I will say, you know what, fair enough. Maybe she got caught up in the moment, you know what I'm saying? Blood was pumping. She just did what felt natural, but then she blocked him, she went home, she said, what the fuck did I just do? And she got rid of him and that's it, we're good to go, right? Wrong. So we had a conversation. <laughs> I probably didn't talk to him for like a week after that. This girl's a certified fucking liar. Not only is she a dumb bitch. She's a fucking liar also. She said she was done with him after that and she blocked him. But now she just walked out back and said, oh yeah, I didn't talk to him for a week after. But her walking it back and going back to talk to him did uncover a lot of important and deeply disgusting knowledge. So if you're not ready for this, please brace yourself because my God, Shit gets fucking foul. And then we finally had a conversation and he was just like, you know, like, my mom was the one who taught me how to have sex, kiss, whatever, whatever. She was like, yo, she had me young. It's really him. It's really him. You're a victim. victim bro. Mm. The son is the true victim in this whole story. He was born and raised to be this way because he knew no better. He was growing up kissing his mother, bro. He was growing up having with his, I can't even say those words with the mom in the same sentence. I have to mute myself because that's fucking disgusting. He was growing up having with his mom, thinking that was completely normal. He was groomed, fam. The kid, he actually has done no wrong here because to him, it's normal because he grew up like this. While everyone's out there fucking their peers or whatever, he genuinely believes that in his head, this is a normal thing that everyone does because this is how he grew up. So I can only blame this dirty dumb bitch and that dirty Italian mom. Let me find a nice Italian intel for her. That damn dirty Italian puttana. That means whore in Italian. You know, I sounded pretty Italian there, didn't I? You know what I'm saying? No sweat, no big deal. Sorry excuse for a fucking mom groomed her fucking son for his entire life to the point where he doesn't know that this shit is not normal. I know she had the kid while she was young, but that does not give her any right to literally sexually her son, bro. I feel bad for the guy, bro. He has no right. I know he's a grown man, but when you're raised in condition to be a certain way, you actually do not know what is right or wrong. If you were raised to kill people your entire life, to you that is a normal thing. To him, he was growing to his mother, so he thinks that's normal. Oh man, I've said it before and I'll say it again. Podcasts are a disease that is plaguing our beautiful planet. The creator of podcasts himself must feel like goddamn Oppenheimer because this magnificent invention that he's created is being used to bring down our communities. And you know who's at fault here? The US government because they're bringing all this podcast material and dropping them off into low income neighborhoods. Because the best way to stop a civilization from progressing is to make them fight amongst themselves. I'm mad, man. And that's why I will be entering next year's US presidential election. Because I have, have a, a dream. dream that my people, my race, the human race, will be free from the shackles of podcasting. If you vote for me, I guarantee you that I will get rid of all the podcasts on the face of this planet, even if it cost me my entire goddamn life. So please, hashtag vote for Andy 2024, because I will make America great.